Five years ago, Catherine Parento didn't know what pickleball was. Today, she's the number two player in the world in women's singles. She started playing tennis at the age of four, growing up in Montreal. And she was good enough to earn a scholarship to play at the University of Arkansas. After one year there, she transferred to Michigan State, where she played on the tennis team for three years. She stayed at the university one more year to complete her education. But with her college eligibility having run out, she was just hanging out with the tennis team but missing that allure of competition. Introduction to Pickleball The Michigan State tennis coach Simone Jardim, who herself is also a top pro pickleball player, had an idea. She introduced Catherine to the world of pickleball. Initially, she was resistant because pickleball sounded kind of strange. But once she picked it up, she found love for the sport right away. She noticed I was bored on the sideline not competing anymore, and she said, Catherine, why don't you come and try this sport called pickleball? And I just looked at her and I was like, what are you talking about, pickleball? But of course, after resisting at first, I finally gave it a try. It was the winter in Michigan. So it was indoors in a gym and they taught me how to score and all the rules and I fell in love with the game. It had the quick hands and rallies that I loved most about tennis. It started as a hobby, but soon Jardim convinced her to actually enter tournaments in Eats Lansing and nearby Williamston. It became clear she had a knack for this new sport, a natural on the court. Parento fell in love with pickleball immediately, and she has been playing ever since. Barely six months later, Parento was competing in the US Open, where she won the 5.0 mixed bracket and launched her professional career. The years of training that followed this victory finally paid off when Parento claimed the US Open Pro Women's Doubles title with partner Callie Smith in 2021. That was when I was like, oh, I guess I'm doing well. I should keep going, she said. I realized I had potential to be maybe a great player, and it stopped being a hobby. Because her head coach Jardim and Catherine both compete in professional tournaments, there are a lot of times when they both have to go against each other. Catherine says it was very weird in the beginning and super tough to accept that they weren't on the same team. When they started there weren't many professional female players so they almost had to face each other every time in a tournament. But with time, she developed the mentality of whatever happens in court, stays in court. After I beat her the first few times, she would sometimes joke that she never should have told me about pickleball, but she was always kidding. Catherine Parento's net worth. Besides winning a handsome amount of prize money in almost every competition she plays in, Catherine also hosts pickleball clinics and has several sponsors. These include the shoe brand Skechers and bicycle company Charge. As of 2021, she has earned around $76,475 in prize money. Personal life. She lives in Florida with her partner Athena Truio and their French bulldog Zoe. She's binge watching Hallmark holiday movies and traveling around the world to play a sport that is just starting to peak in popularity. Not bad. Life is good right now. I feel lucky, said Parento. My old tennis friends from high school and my tennis days reach out to me a lot now on Instagram, and they will say, Catherine, I tried pickleball because of your Instagram, and I liked it. And so, it's pretty cool now people are getting into it, and the sport is growing. Catherine Parento off the court. One of the things Catherine credits for her success at the game is the repetitive drills she does in practice because these drills fine tune her skills and develop muscle memory. She also believes that having a healthy diet, a good support system, and a solid mental game are very important factors in being a top athlete. The pickleball star has said that she prefers playing the game outdoors and likes competing in doubles events more than the single games. She also thinks that patience is key to succeeding at pickleball. On the personal side of things, Catherine likes doing outdoor activities like hiking, running, and skiing. She's also into meditation and loves spending time with her loved ones, including her dog. When she's not at play, she's hard at work coaching younger players in the game she loves. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel.
It helps us to bring you guys quality content. Until next time.